Hello everyone and welcome to your Thursday what the fuckery, your daily dose of crazy people doing crazy things, so hopefully you don't have to. Today being our Thursday show, we are going to do our four little mini stories, all of which have to do with food or food based items. And one that's not really food, but technically is food, if you get my drift. Our first story comes to us from Michigan, where they are having a contest at a ballpark to see what the next food item that they want on their menu shall be. Most of them sound pretty good, but one of them sticks out to me, and it made me gag when I first read it. Bologna lollipop. Five inch in diameter, one inch thick piece of fried bologna on a stick. Ugh. I don't I don't even know what bologna is. I think it's like a mixture of something that's not very good. Frankly, I'd choose the uh, healthy choice that they had up there, which were vegetable sticks with hummus or ranch dressing. That sounds really good. Ah, uh, uh, bologna. Bologna. Why would you... Oh, bologna. Why, why does America eat weird things? Why do we eat crappy food? Why? Why does everything have to be deep fried? Ah! Our second story comes to us from Toronto, where... If you celebrate Christmas or you like watching fire, you might be familiar with Roger's Cable, which is the channel thing that shows you the burning fireplace all the time during like Christmas time. In Canada, they have added a new channel to show something for 24 hours straight. A chicken rotisserie? Fireplace, I can understand. It's it's very atmospheric during Christmas time. Fish in aquarium, they also do. That's calming. Chicken on a rotisserie, that's just gonna make people hungry. I'd probably attack my scream and be like, give it to me! Why can't I have it? Then again, I like to eat, because I'm such a fat bastard. You're gonna get a lot of fat people really angry at their TV. They're just gonna chuck stuff at it, or you're gonna make a lot of skinny people fat from watching a chicken cooking. Why make a show about it? We already have Paula Dean deep frying everything in butter. Ugh. Actually, it's Canada, so I don't really give a fuck. I'm just kidding, don't kill me. A boot. Our third story comes to us out of Colorado, where a man was arrested for drunk driving. He blew three times over the legal limit, which is a lot of alcohol. So, they took him to the police station, and he said he had to go to the bathroom. So, they let him go to the bathroom. He came back with feces in his mouth and spat it at the police officer. You are so wasted right now. If that seems like a good idea. Putting your own feces in your mouth and then spitting it at a cop. You put your own poo in your mouth. Don't spit poo at a cop. You're a dum dum. Our fourth story comes to us out of London. And it is bringing back a topic that we talked about like two days ago. I can't remember because I have a terrible memory, but I think it was two days ago. Breast milk! It's made a comeback! Except now it's in London, where a local ice cream maker, you see where I'm going with this, is making breast milk ice cream! Yay! What's that gonna taste like? Is it, like, is it, is it a specialty only made for babies? Or do people like eating breast milk ice cream sundaes with fudge on it? Are you gonna get choices of whose breast milk it is, or is it just gonna be some random ladies? Could you like request famous people breast milk, like a glass of Angelina Jolie breast milk, or like, I don't know, Jessica Alba breast milk, or some Anne Hathaway breast milk? Can you get guy breast milk? Is there a special flavor for guy breast milk? hard enough to get guy breast milk? Are you gonna make strawberry breast milk ice cream? I don't know, I haven't been fond on breast milk for about... I don't know... 18 years? Ish? Now your breast... <laughs> now your breast friends... <laughs> now your best friends can have the opportunity to actually suck your mom's breast without getting in trouble for it. And it opens up a whole range of mom jokes. I, uh, I, uh, yeah, I, uh, and that's how I'm gonna end my argument. Anyway, thank you for watching today's episode. If you want to discuss any of the stories that are talked about in today's episode, you can leave them down in my pants. They're very spacious and 
Pansy. If you want to read more about any of the stories that I talked about, you can find the linkies in the doodly description box. If you like me, if you like my personality, if you like how I address the news and give it a funny spin that hopefully you find humorous, then hit the little subscribe button up here. It's gonna be right up there. Boom. Thank you guys and I shall see you tomorrow.